Welcome to Go Together Go Far. Today we're going to take a look at my Kingbird travel trailer cover and see how it held up this, this winter. Basically this is an RV cover review with results. Before I show you this cover I want to do a couple quick things. One, ask you to put your country down in the comments. Uh, I like to share that with my kids when we're getting viewers from other countries. I think that's fantastic. Uh, two, if you haven't yet, go ahead and click that little subscribe button. Uh, I generally appreciate that. And you might as well go ahead and click that notification bell as well so you know when our next videos are coming out. And finally, all the equipment that you're generally going to see in this video, including this cover, uh, I, all, I purchased generally from Amazon. So you'll see my affiliate links down below. You might want to check those out for current pricing. Uh, it tends to change season to season. So uh, I, I won't talk about pricing. You can see all that down in the links below. With that said, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm going to show you the, the, the cover in a second but here real quick here's what came with this this bag so one there's a big carry case here uh, that came with it it came with four tire covers now I didn't happen to use these because I had already put on four other tire covers that I had so you'll see those but these are actually really good sized tire covers um, you know, they're, they're pretty big here it's a little windy out today uh, and it came with a whole bunch of straps uh, all ready to go a couple of them I didn't need and they also give you some patches in case you wear thin or wear some holes, which is which is great to have. So that's what came with it. Let's go take a look at what it looks like on, on my trailer. All right, so here it is. It's all wrapped up with the Kingbird trailer cover. Uh, I'm gonna give you a quick walk around and then we'll get into some more specifics. As you can see, it's got air vents up top that allows air to pass in and out of it fairly easily, which is very nice. Uh, these straps are very tight. Um, it's secure and they go up all the way up underneath the travel trailer as you can tell that it's very windy out today and you can see how nice and tight this thing actually holds up and there of course is my tire covers that don't match because I, I forgot to put those on and we'll walk around the outside of it now I my cover was probably a little bigger than I needed as you can see I've got a little extra fabric but not the end of the world Here's the back, um, nice and, and taut. I've also got, and I'll show you as, as we open this up, I've got some foam, uh, pool noodles stuck up on those little rain spouts uh, to keep it from, from ripping through. I'll walk around this side. And as you can see, it looks pretty much the same on this side, maybe a little harder to, to see, but it's nice and tight, nothing, uh, nothing ripped, nothing worn. Uh, this side doesn't get much exposure to the sun over here because it's right up against this other RV. And then here's up front is probably where I have a little extra fabric. So I'm going to zoom in. I'll go in on a couple of areas that I think are important to take a look at. So one area I'm going to show you real quick is where the steps go up into the front door. Uh, this is the one spot I've been able to find just a little bit of fraying. If we look down here, right there is right where it met sorry for the horrible video right where the the steps met against this thing as the wind was blowing it it frayed a little bit so i'll have to remember that for the, for next year not the end of the world on this one it's at the bottom i did not see any of that fraying along these these top gutters or anywhere else which is probably a little more important all right so i'm gonna go ahead and take this first cover off the tire i'm not gonna bother showing you every cover on every tire but we'll take a look at this first one to see what kind of shape it's in Uh, it looks actually pretty good to me. Um, I'll, I'll do a little better inspection here, but the other thing I wanted to show you is that I also have this portable power source that I've detailed in a different video that I'll link up here in the corner. In this, I've got an air pump. So I'm going to go ahead and actually inflate my, my tire right here in the storage facility because I know over winter it's probably lost a little air and that way I don't have to try to work this big trailer into a gas station to get air. So um, I'll put a link to that video if you want to check this out. All right, so my tires are all good to go. They're all filled to 65, which is right for my tires. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and get all these straps off and then we'll, we'll get up on the roof and we'll take a look to see if there's any damage or anything going on up there. Stay with us.
here's that little pool noodle that I put up on that little rain gutter. Put it on there, slide it on to make sure it uh, protects that, that cover. That cover is off. It kind of blew off on its own. I'm going to go ahead and get up here on the roof. See what we got going on. All right, my antenna. Everything looking very good. Look at the back again. Here's one of my other gutter things. We'll take that off. Everything looks pretty good back here. Nice and sealed. So I don't see any new issues. A lot of this uh, sealant, uh, the lighter stuff I put on at the end of the last season, uh, we had an issue where we actually had a bunch of big birds on top of our camper at one campground, uh, Nolan Lake, which there's a video too. Um, and they, they clawed a bunch of it, so I had to reseal it. So that's what you're seeing there. So what do you think? I think this did a great job. This thing looks as clean as it, it was when I put it away. So this is the Kingbird trailer cover. Uh, take a look at it down below if you're in the market, if you're now getting your camper out of, out of storage. Uh, you definitely want to be storing your camper, wrapped in something, UV and, and weather can really do a lot of damage to it, not only the way it, the way it performs, but the way it looks. So check out the links, subscribe if you haven't yet, and uh, give me a thumbs up if this worked for you. Thanks everybody. See ya.